fourth grade greenies. This is information now about our remote learning really for week three and beyond. This should take us through to the end of our school year. I'm going to start by saying that at this point, word studies should be done. Everything was assigned before we went on break and it was due before break. So if I go through the checklist and I find that something's missing or you're not finished, I'm just going to contact you and your parents privately through Seesaw. This has been removed from the menu because it should be done. Now let's recap. Informational writing and a wrinkle in time also should be done. You've had two weeks of remote learning and these two pieces were in fact given to you with must-do expectations. Some of you did take advantage of those two kind of break weeks to do this work, but I would expect in the two weeks of remote learning that you had a chance to work on these things. So keep in mind that you do still have that progress checklist link to see where you're at. Now, for the informational writing, I have 24 books that are done and printed. So that's quite a few that still need to wrap that up. But again, I'm considering at this point, if you're not done, you're catching up. 32 have finished a wrinkle in time. So I have five more that need to catch up with that. So. I've now adjusted the menu. The immigration unit stays as a must do. I've moved March literary essay up because we're going to be looking at making revisions. And then I've added a choice writing piece. I want you to remember that with this menu, all of these links take you to videos to watch with information. So if you're asking me questions and you've not watched the video, I'm probably going to refer you to the video. This work is going to take us through the rest of the year, whether it's remote or we get to be back together again. So starting with the immigration unit, I've got one more task I'm going to add and that's task six. This checklist is still going to help you track your progress and you can let me know if you feel I've missed something. I do want to point out to you though that I am giving feedback for revisions and quality. Don't just say I'm done and move on. Please note that these are very important reading skills for us so I'm, I'm going to hold you accountable. Keep in mind that I still need 11 more March essays but I've got to move forward. I am going to point out that everyone was given the expectations for the March essay in class. We talked about it, you got the paper, you've had access to this in the writing classroom. This essay should have focused on theme. So if you didn't focus on theme, that's the first thing I'm going to point out for revision. Expectations were made very clear with this. Choice writing is something else that I've added as a must do because now I want you to have fun with your writing. There's a video talking about this and so you get to choose what you're working on. By the end of the year, I want a quality choice piece from you. Our side dishes now have been modified just a bit. These will become must-dos as you finish, finish the current must-dos. Notice Grammar Master has moved. So there's plenty for us to work on. Reading Army has many ranks. I've got one sergeant who's working on ranks beyond sergeant, but I'd like to know who else is going to be a sergeant by the end of the year. Remember that Grammar Master is going to be important. All of the lessons will need to be done by the end of the year because it's important that you understand all parts of speech. I've added a theme challenge that's going to be required by the end of the year. I think this is a fun one. I think you'll enjoy it. Snacks are the same. I still have Shades of Meaning. I still have Mystery Song. I have added a digital newsstand as a fun bonus for those of you who enjoy reading information to learn interesting things. For those desserts, the book challenge is still there, the song explorations are still there, and the wonderings are still there. If you have done any of these as a nice break, that's excellent. Know that I have not checked and awarded badges for these just yet. Read Aloud is still going to be front desk. I'll continue adding those. 
You still can use Flipgrid to ask questions, to check in. I love seeing your faces. And then finally, for Google Meets, I won't mind setting a Google Meet up probably once a week with smaller groups so that you get a chance to talk more to each other. My goal is to put only four to six people in a meet, and I'd rather do it based on things you're interested in talking about. Meets are intended to be social connection activities, so getting your interest survey to me will be important to help me match you up with others that want to talk about what you're interested in.